Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial and this time about walk cycles or run cycles. In this video I'm going to show you how to animate a, a biped, a quad pad and even an octopad walk slash run cycle. I'm going to show you how to do it in Adobe Animate but this also applies to any other program, any other animation technique. As long as you draw the limbs on separate layers you're going to be fine. And this is by far what I think is the easiest way to animate a run or a walk cycle. So let's get started. I always found it really confusing to animate a character with four or more legs, but with this technique, I'm going to show you how to do it really quickly. So let's get started on the goat. In the description, you'll find a link with a practice file for both the goat, the ostrich, and the spider. So if you want to try these yourselves, then be sure to download them. So let's start on the goat, the four legged animal. I got a graphic symbol right here with all the parts of the goat inside. I'm gonna double click this and you can see that all the symbols are inside. I can click them, I can move them around. All the body parts. What I did is I put them all inside this one symbol and I'll show you later why. And let's start by adding some classic tweens to all these layers. Classic tween. And as you can see, I gave these all the correct names. There, it's not super important, but I do like doing it. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to pose the goat in a little bit of a running animation. So I'm gonna turn the neck a little bit here. I'm gonna move the goat in a way where he's more like moving forward. So there we go, stretch out his body a little bit. And strangely enough, I'm going to start with animating the body first. And I made it really simple. I made all those layers blue right here. So I'm going to put a keyframe at the end. I'm going to put a keyframe exactly in the middle. And on that middle keyframe, I'm going to move him down and forward a little bit. I'm going to move his neck forward a little bit. Maybe his head, move his head down a little bit. Move his ears down a little bit as well. Move his butt a little and his tail is going to go down. So if I play this right now, I'm going to see this animation right here. It's a little stiff, so I'm gonna select all these frames, all of them, and I'm going to go to classic ease, ease in, ease out, and quad is nice. There we go. So let's play that real quick. I think he's a little bit too slow. So I'm going to shorten these frames a little bit. I'm going to stand somewhere around here. I'm gonna click right there, and I'm gonna press shift F5. I can also just select these frames and say right click, remove frames. It says right here, shift F5, somewhere around there. Let's see how that goes. There we go. And now for the tricky part, the legs. And it's actually going to be really simple. I'm going to lock these layers and I'm going to put them in outline. So I can see the legs on the other side of the body a little better. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a keyframe at the end for all the legs, a keyframe in the middle, just with the body and a keyframe exactly in between there. I see I can't really do that because I'm using an odd number. So I'm going to press F5 and make it a little longer. And I'm going to press F5 here as well. So as you can see, well, nothing happens. The goat doesn't do anything except for bop up and down. And now let's move the legs. So what I'm going to do is animate all these legs at the same time. It will look really silly, but bear with me. So I'm going to press Alt and rotate it around the opposite corner. Somewhere around there. We can always tweak it later. Select the other leg. Shift click, do the same thing to the back leg and both of them, there we go, all right. And on the second frame, they will be down. And then on the third frame, they will actually move backwards a little bit. So I'm gonna move them all backward and they're all gonna kick back, something like that. You can always tweak that later if it's too much, if it's too little. And again, this is gonna look really silly, but it's going to work. So right now, and they move backwards and then they move forward. Obviously they lift their feet when they move forward. So I'm going to do that right now. There we go, almost done. And the only thing that I have to do is copy the keyframes at the beginning and paste them at the end. In this case, I'm going to select them all, hold Alt or Option on Mac and then select them and then release them right here. I'm not going to add any easing to the legs. I don't need to do that on this particular example. 
So if I play this right now, it will be a very silly walk cycle. And I'm going to turn those layers back on. So obviously that does not look good yet, uh, but here comes the magic. And this is the easiest way for me to, to do this. I'm going to ignore the first leg, this one, but the second leg, this one, I'm going to select that. I'm going to click the layer. I'm going to move that forward exactly one quarter. Select these frames, hold alt to copy the frames and drag them backwards. I'm going to delete these frames. So what I basically did is I offset that leg. So I'm going to do that to this leg as well. But instead of one quarter, I'm going to do two quarters. Hold Alt again, move it all the way to the left, delete these. There we go. And I'm going to do it for the fourth leg, three quarters, select them move them backwards with Alt and delete them. So if I play it now, now I can see that some of those legs move a little bit too enthusiastic. So maybe this is a little too much and I can I can start tweaking that. Maybe it's a little, little too far back, something like that. So if I test this right now, I'm gonna go test. Well, that goat is going to stand still a little bit and that's because on scene one, I actually shortened it. So I should shorten it here as well. I'm going to make those the exact same length. So if I go to control test movie again, so I'm going to do one more thing and that's adding some motion to the main scene. I got the motion here, but I want kind of want to have him bop back and forth as well. And I got the pivot point right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go classic tween, put a keyframe at the end. And instead of putting a keyframe in the center, I'm going to put a keyframe on a quarter and on three quarters, somewhere around there. On the first keyframe, I'm going to move it forward a little bit. If you want to go get really exact, and I do like that, press Control Alt S or Command Option S, got a little pop up. I'm going to say, let's do six degrees. That's always a nice number, six degrees forward. And on the second keyframe, I'm going to say Control Alt S and move it backwards exactly six degrees. And right now with the extra keyframes, the motion is quite smooth. It really helps sell the motion. Um, if I take the keyframes out real quick, I'm gonna test it again. This is a little bit more stiff. So with those keyframes, it will look a little bit smoother. And I can give some easing to this as well. In this case, I would say a ease in, ease out to the center and ease in on the last keyframe and an ease out on the final keyframe. That's because I'm actually splitting this ease up, which is an ease in and an out. And if I play it now, that will look pretty smooth. This should also work on a ostrich, which is a two-legged creature. I'm going to go through this a little bit faster. So I got the ostrich here. I'm going to select it. I really liked the timing of this one, which is about 20 frames. So I'm going to shorten it a little bit in advanced. Select all the keyframes a classic tween and on the first layer i'm going to put him more into a running pose which is the neck down and the tail feathers down a little bit maybe his wings up a little bit he has two wings but that's more like a running pose and i'm going to set a keyframe at the end of the body in the center and i'm going to make him bop up and down a little bit more stretch out his neck real far maybe his wings go up a little bit his tail goes down his whole body moves down a little bit. So let's see how that looks. Obviously give that a little ease because that looks stiff. There we go, select all the keyframes. Select all the frames. Go to tweening, classic ease. Ease in, ease out, quad. So let's play that real quick. That looks smooth. So now let's lock these, let's outline these. And then I'm gonna put down those keyframes again, which is exactly those key, four keyframes. So in this case, because it's simpler, I don't have to animate both legs at the same time, but I'm going to do it anyway, just to show you how easy it is. So I'll put the legs in the front, put the leg backwards on the third keyframe. Let me just do that right now. Not exactly how an ostrich runs, but that's all right. And then right here, he pulls his knees up. Again, not really how an ostrich moves his knees. And for the last frame, I'm going to copy the first frame to the end. So again, it will look silly. This will look silly. But if I select the second leg, and instead of doing it one quarter, I'm going to do it half. 
select those final keyframes, alt, drag, put them in front. Again, I have to make it shorter on this part. Still looks a little stiff. So let me increase that a little bit more. Let's play it again. There we go. And again, this looks pretty stiff. So I'm going to add that magic touch on the main timeline. I'm going to right click that classic tween keyframe at the end, one quarter, three quarters, move for a little bit. But in this case, I'm going to go control alt S or command option S. I'm going to say six degrees forward again. And this one, let's do six minus degrees. I'm going to add that easing real quick. Easing these out. Ease in and ease out. Press control enter now. You will see a really quick animated ostrich. And this is not the best walk cycle, but it's a really fast way. Um, so let's do it to the spider last. And you may think this is gonna be the hardest one, but it's actually the simplest one. I'm going to select the spider. Again, 20 frames was great. So I'm gonna delete the last 20 frames. Go into that animation, select them all. Make it into a tween. We start with the body. He doesn't really have a running pose like, like the ostrich has where he has his head forward. So I'm going to just make him bop up and down a little bit, something like that. Maybe his pinchers move a little bit outwards. His butt can move up. Gotta watch out that these legs don't separate, but other than that, that looks. Yep, needs that easing. Classic ease, ease in, ease out, what? Again, I'm going to lock these and put them in outline mode. And it's exactly the same with these legs. So I'm going to put a keyframe on a quarter, half, and three quarters. And all I'm gonna do is on this keyframe, I'm going to move all those legs backward a little, I'm gonna bend these backwards. This does take a little bit more time because there are more legs. But if you look at this right now, all the legs are moving backwards and then all the legs are moving forwards. But in this case, I'm just going to select them and move them up a little bit. Make sure they stay connected to the body. There we go. So he pulls them back, lifts them up and he puts them down but instead of putting them down exactly on the ground, he's gonna put them down forward a little bit. Let's try to imagine where he would place them. So there we go, he pulls them back, lifts them all up, puts them down. So if I play this right now, obviously, again, that looks a little silly, but the technique for the quad pad is the same as the octopad. It even looks a little better with more legs. So I'm gonna keep this one as it is, and I'm gonna select the second leg. So I'm gonna go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, till I'm at the end. So that's this one. And instead of going a quarter, I'm going half of that one eighth. So if you can't really choose if it's gonna be that frame or that frame, just guess. And then the second one is this frame. This is gonna be a quarter. It's gonna be this leg, not a quarter, but two or three frames more. I'm gonna select this leg. We're gonna continue until I'm basically running out of legs. And then the last one, which is this leg right there. Now in this case, I can really select this and then move backward because I still need that keyframe right there. So if that happens, I'm gonna select all these keyframes that don't have a keyframe at the end. I'm gonna press F6 or convert to keyframes. And then I'm gonna do the exact same. I'm gonna start at the top, Maybe go backwards. There we go, I'm just gonna hold Alt again. Yes, exactly where the body stops moving. So exactly there, frame 21. This looks a little bit more confusing, but if you try it out yourself, 
gonna be fine. See, exactly at that point. There we go. And I'm going to remove everything that comes behind it. I'm gonna right click, remove the frames. So if I look at all the legs now, look how smooth that goes. That's super smooth. And I can still, on the scene one, on the body, on the main timeline, I can still give it some classic tween here. Put a keyframe down, one quarter, three quarter, control alt S, move it forward a little bit, and move it backward. I'm gonna do the same thing with the easing. The first frame will have an ease out, then a ease in, ease out, and then an ease in. Let's press control enter. There we go. And that looks like one smooth moving spider. So there we go, putting them all together. Uh, we've got the spider, the ostrich, and the goat. The simplest way to make a walk cycle. And obviously I can go really advanced from here and add extra keyframes where he actually puts his foot down, maybe bends a little bit. I can do some follow through animation uh, to make it look really professional. But this is by far the easiest way to animate a walk cycle like this, especially at a higher frame rate. I hope uh, you learned something today. Be sure to join the Discord if you haven't already. Leave a like and I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.